out there what's up this is trackmania matt speaking and welcome to the official need for speed underground land mode tutorial on my channel now there's a few things you got to do to get this working first you need to have a copy of need for speed whoops that's the demo uh you need to have a copy of need for speed underground and you need to have a couple of uh utilities to get the land mode working it's a folder called NFSUG Server Apps. I will put this in the um, download description below. Now, let's get started. First things first, we need to... Oh, and by the way, you also need... If you want to play land mode with someone, you also need a second computer and a second copy of Need for Speed Underground in order to get it working. Now, the first thing I'm going to need to do is go to NFS Underground LAN dot o point nine point nine dot gate underscore gateway and load up NFSU server. Don't I'm going to ignore that. Leave this up. Once this loads, leave this up. This is the server itself to get the thing working. Now, after you get that loaded up, you go to NFS Underground LAN 1.0.1 and load up NFSU client. It'll say you could not redirect socket. Maybe you have started the server, but on this box, ignore that. It doesn't mean anything. Now, um, ignore that as well. Um, click allow access if that ever happens. Um, now, to get the thing actually working, we need to do find local servers. Land service server is the server right here. Double click, uh, don't double click the server. Well, you can. Double click the server. Click use server. And you are in on the server. Now that you have the server running, you have to set an option in Need for Speed Underground so that the game does not crash when you click Play Online. What you have to do is you right-click on the EXE for Underground on the desktop, click Properties, go to Compatibility. Make sure you have Run This Program as Administrator checked and Windows XP Service Pack 2 compatibility checked. Otherwise, Play Online will crash the game if you try to select it. Okay, I had to skip the intro because if I got the music in the background, it would have given me some copyright claim of some type. I don't even know. Um, so, once you click Play Online, it'll work. Now, First time you play this, I'm not doing this. Actually, you know what, may, I may as well do this. Um, you need to make it select accept. Then for the first time you use this software, you have to create a new EA account, which I will go through that right now. Well, first, am I, first the account name, the password, you confirm your password, you enter the email address, select no for both of these, click continue. I'm not going through what the next step is since I've already created an EA account. So once you create the EA account, you'll be back to here. Make sure this still says accept. Click use EA account on your user. Now once you get in here, you'll have online username. Mine, of course, is Trackman Matt, hence the name. Now, after you select your username, it'll bring you to the car selection. I have a few stock cars on here. It doesn't really matter. For this test, we're going to do a Mazda RX-7. It's going to connect to EA.com. Now, there's options of ranked game, unranked game, to go back and select your car again, news, rankings, and options. 
Options just has the audio and music settings and the control settings for the keyboard. Rankings, you have really nothing in here. Since it doesn't really work well with the uh, thing here. Now, news. There's nothing really anything here. Select car just takes you back to the car selection screen. I'm going to do an unranked game. Now, the mode types are circuit, sprint, drift, and drag. For example, I'm going to do circuit. One sec. Okay, so never, ever do what I just did. Never, ever, ever press enter on any of the modes. Because it'll select you in, it'll show you having more than one, more than zero players in there and freeze your game up and you're going to have to start, and you're going to have to restart the game. So the normal access option is to create a room, I'm going to be doing circuit for example, press the Z key. Now... What, however many people you have on the server with the game will show up right here. Now, when I press the right arrow, there's no one here. That's the created games list. You need to create the game. Whoever's hosting the server has to create the game. So, whoever's hosting the server, for example, me, will press the Z key again. This will bring you to the game selection screen, which bring, gives you the track. And the number of la and the number of laps if it's a circuit or drift for that matter. For example, I'm just going to do a random track terminal with three with four laps. Create the game, and once you have a certain amount of people, more than two, more than one person in the server, press start game, and off you go racing. So that's pretty much the Need for Speed Underground Land Mode Tutorial. This is Trackmania Matt, signing off. Peace out.